Welcome indie gamers to Sunny Indie Gaming and please hit that like button if you guys end up enjoying this review and sub to the channel for more indie game coverage. But today we're going to take a look at Scourge Bringer on the PC and coming to the Nintendo Switch, Xbox and PlayStation. This is an early access review so thank you to Flying Oak Games and Dear Villagers for the early access key. Now Scourge Bringer has been touted as Dead Cells meets Celeste and in some aspects you can certainly see the two combined. In Scourge Bringer playing Kyra the blue haired ninja lady, she moves like Madeline and Celeste only a lot more deadly and you run through the gameplay like Dead Cells. But while Scourge Bringer draws some inspiration from those two, it's not quite up to that level. But what you get here is a great standalone title that I think you'll enjoy. Now starting with the combat, Kyra moves swiftly and fast through the air with her normal jump and double jump and the ability to dash in an instant while still able to keep herself airborne. Controls are very fluid and easy whether you're on the keyboard and mouse or you're with a controller with a game as fast paced as Scourge Bringer, getting the combat while being so fast paced is paramount to this game's enjoyment. Now while you're moving rapidly you swing with your sword and that will be how you mostly take out most of the enemies. But Kyra also has the ability to use a range gun that follows her by her side that I found only mildly useful and pretty unreliable in regards to aiming with a controller. Now the gameplay itself is a pretty simple roguelike that you're typically familiar with. You go room by room, clearing out each one to advance, and your goal is to take out a mini boss that will open up the main boss room. While you're going room by room, items can drop that will buff Kyra, as well as a special buff room that gives you three choices that helps you through your run. These buffs can be simple health boosts, sword or gun upgrades that never seemed overpowered, and were just light advances to Kyra. When you inevitably die, you get sent to a home base where you can improve your character from clearing the rooms earlier. The skill tree has typical things like permanent health upgrades, upgrades to the combo system, and just more little things that continue to add to Kyra or her trusty gun. I personally would have liked to see this tree a bit more exciting and add a little more flavor of some kind. It does feature some few new abilities that I found, but I was not really excited for anything really outside of those abilities. As for the difficulty though, that is where this game shines. It's very hard and it's very punishing and you'll find yourself dying quite a lot. I find myself having at times to stalk my prey or wait patiently for an opening on attack because any sneeze would drop your health and health is extremely scarce in this game and with the boss fights being pretty tough you need as much as you could get to go as far as you can go. The difficulty can be a turn off if you're not wanting your game hard but I enjoyed the challenge that the game presented and overall I enjoyed my time with the gameplay portion of Scourge Bringer and it's a positive for me on this title. Now as for the visuals I feel like they speak for themselves. We have a vibrant pixel looking game and Kyra slashing her way through enemies with her sword is just visually pleasing to my eye. The game is gorgeous looking and is just plain great and the soundtrack that gets played during battling is the insane heavy metal music that I just thought was really quirky with Kyra dicing up enemies but I absolutely loved it and I honestly think that it added to the charm of this game. But with that said Scourge Bringer isn't a perfect title just yet. It's a title still in early access at the time of this review and it has some downsides like I felt the game get a tad bit repetitive after grinding the same levels but that could have been my complete lack of skill with in conjunction with the skill tree being a tad bit boring. There are still some things that I feel need some tweaking in those departments. In the end though this is a terrific addition to this year's indie games lineup whether you're playing on the PC with a keyboard and mouse or you're on the Nintendo Switch or other platforms I think you're going to be getting a lot of value out of this title if you're looking for a fun, challenging, and aesthetically looking and pleasing roguelite. I think Scourge Bringer brings enough value to the table right now and since this game isn't fully released yet I won't give it a score yet but I will give it my full thumbs up and recommendation based on what is available right now. Grab Scourge Bringer if you're into roguelites and excellent pixel art and a fast fun moving combat game. But alright guys thanks for watching please hit that like button as it's so helpful to me as a content creator and sub to the channel for more indie game coverage. And like always, thank you guys for watching here at Sunday Indie Gaming, and I hope you guys have a sunny day.